Welcome to my channel, A Lonely Snake in the Yard. My name is Blake, and today we got something very interesting. Well, I've been working on the Oculus Quest 3 for a good long time now, and I think this is the most best headset on the market today. Well, we are going to, I've been testing Hogwarts Legacy in VR. And today, I am going to show how to set up step by step the right way of putting a mod inside Hogwarts Legacy in VR and, all, and a gameplay footage and to show how I set everything up the right way and all with the Oculus Quest 3. Oh man, this thing in VR, I was having a blast. I was actually enjoying myself for the first time in this game. And uh, so what is Hogwarts Legacy in VR? All right, well, Hogwarts Legacy in VR is like, it's a Harry Potter, of course. And uh, you get to do all kinds of missions, solve puzzles and do uh, like, uh, learn how to use your magic wand and stuff with the dark arts and then after that i think you take down a dragon and stuff and oh man and oh with all these spirits and everything and stuff oh man it's just it's awesome and i it, it's breathtaking I, I mean i have to admit it's breathtaking and especially on the aquas quest 3. so i am going to show how to set up hogwarts legacy in vr with Luke Ross, the mod, the right way. Enjoy. Oh, by the way, don't forget to hit the like, share, comment, notify me on the bell, and most of all, hit the subscribe button for all of my future contents. So let's dive right into setting up Hogwarts Legacy in VR. Enjoy. Okay, well this is what you need and everything to be able to start out on, um, with Luke Ross and all this is what you need to set up step by step. You got to come over here and uh, you got to basically be a do ten dollars a month, pay monthly to him and stuff. And because he's a very nice guy and everything, which we all know because he loves putting all these mods for us VR fans, right? And uh, so I, I'm I'm paying ten dollars a month now. So you got to have. Luke Ross to be able to put Hogwarts Legacy in VR. Okay. So now, what we're going to do. All right. So now we need to download uh, Luke Ross. Well, first off, download or buy a Hogwarts Legacy. All right. And then from there, we're going to come over here, go to Browse Local Files. Okay. All right, now we got everything right here. So now let's bring up my other folder. All right. All right, so now let's go to Downloads. Go to Real Mod by Luke Ross. Okay. All right, we got that. Now come over here, go to Phoenix, go to this one, Win64, and right here is what you got. All right, what you do is basically just drag this real mod by Luke Ross and uh, paste it in your directory folder, all right? and under Steam, Common, Hogwarts Legacy, Phoenix, Binaries, Win64, and then just drag and drop the real mod in here. All right. So now that's done. So now what you need, you need all these files right here and drag and drop into your directory. All right. And then you're basically done. All right. So now then you come over here to real config. All 
All right, real config. All right, now what you do is press enter. Well, All right, there we go. And now everything is working perfectly. And that's basically all you got to do. All right. So now what we're going to do is now set up the game. See you in the metaverse. Okay. Well, this is how you basically do this. Most people don't show you how to set this up the right way, right? All right, well, hopefully I'll help somebody. Okay, what you do is, okay. First off, I use a Xbox controller, all right? So what you do, you come to settings, press Y, all right? So you can follow along with me what I set up. So if you want a Windows full screen, which that's recommended, I use a ACR uh, monitor, which uh, yours would be whatever, right? 1920 by 1080. I keep it on CAA high, and I keep it on NetVid, DLSS, and Ultra Performance, since I run on a high end of PC, which I run an uh, i7-9700 I processor with a 40, RTX GeForce 4070 Ti, all right? And there's upscaling sharpness. I keep it down to zero. All right. And here's this one. A Nebid Reflex Low Legacy on. Or whatever you want to do. You can turn it off if you want. Frames per frame rate. I like to keep it on 60 frames per second. All right. Imagine ca image calibration. You don't have to worry about. Unless if you really want it. Field of view. Keep it at zero. I like to keep the motion blur off. I like to keep the depth field on. Chromatic, I like to keep on. And film grain, I like to keep on. All right. All right. Now let's go. And also V-Sync, I like to keep on. If you want to turn it off, that's up to y'all. All right. Now then, recommended, which is graphic options, is Ultra. Since I run a high-end PC and I got ray tracing on. All right. Now what you need to do, come over here to accessibility option. You can follow along with me if you want to. This is where, when you first start off, it's a guy talking and everything. It's annoying as heck. I've done a lot of research trying to get uh, this turned off and all. Well, you come over here to menu reader and everything, all right? Come over here to menu reader voice. And so that's Microsoft Dave and all. Right, come here to menu reader volume. Turn that down. Camera shake where you won't get motion sickness. Turn that down. This thing right here, colorblind mode, normal. Then if you want to, you can follow along with me where you won't get hardly sick in VR. All right, so these are all off, all right? Camera dead zone, turn it down. Cursor sensitivity, keep it at point or you can turn it down to 0.78. Audio visualer off. All right. Audio visualer icon turned down. Audio visualer size uh, put it at 0 0.5. Mini map pathing turned on. Mini map transparency uh, put it at 0 0.78. Text size normal. High contracts text you can turn off and the uh, high contracts gameplay and that one down there you can turn it all off or if you want to turn it on which is up to you. All right. So we are done for there and that's how you set that up. Now what you do is come over here to quick menu. All right from Luke Ross the mod that we just downloaded. Come right here to uh, current camera, which is previous camera, click on this one right here. I like, there's real close, closer. I like to keep it on game default most of the time, 
but also I like to keep it at first person. Now you come over here to VR Redender Mode. Come over here, press where to, it says Mono, where you want to keep it at, Mono. Now come up here where it says Commands, go to Cross, and right here, whatever you're using and everything, which we're using Oculus, just click that, and then just press uh, Start VR. All right, now right here, your resolution. All right, I like to keep it at six, is what I like to keep it at. And then just press enable. And then come down here if you want to record through OBS Studio, you just come in here and press in. All right, and now you're basically ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and make a new character. All right, so let's see, we'll pick. We'll pick this guy. All right. Okay, Dory, yes. First name. Okay, everything looks good. Now we click wizard. All right, start your journey. Oh, wow. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell okay, casting. I, like to keep it I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fink. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your fun. I mean, I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some fittergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Oh, wow. Hi. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir i'm starting school as a fifth year how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to hogwarts so late nor have i of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if i could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. 
Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ramrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ramrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me. Hey, where did he go? It came to me via her hour, right. but with no correspondence. I can only. But assume she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! How did Wait! He... We do not know. Hang on! Hello? That big fella. Yeah, he brought the back. I got the key. a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Alright. Now I'd like to uh, come over here and press it to first person. Voila. Look at that. And this is what you're seeing. In VR. You can basically look anywhere behind you now. Isn't that cool? Alright. Come on, Professor. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, 
I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Okay, now let's go back to first Mind person. your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the poor key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, that's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. All right. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Valued their privacy. That poor key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Right. Hey, that's point in some. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. All right. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. That 
Ultar did crystallize stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Well, Grandpa. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? <clears throat> it's late then. <clears throat> Hello? It can't be. Just a moment. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just having a blast. I'm just really? enjoying my stuff. <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key. <clears throat> Your wife's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. All right. Well, we're going to jump. Stay on. close. All right. We're going to jump into the outro. All right. Well, there you have it. That was Hogwarts Legacy. In VR, as you saw how I set everything up step by step the right way, because most people does not show you how to set up Hogwarts Legacy in VR the right way. Amen. I mean, heck, I was enjoying myself with that. I was having a blast and everything. And I am going to do a whole full gameplay video starting at the end of this month and everything to. Uh, beat this whole entire game in VR and uh because man I was like I said I was having a blast as you've seen look at the graphics on what I have with the RTX GeForce 4070 Ti with the i7 9700 processor pretty awesome and uh but now you see how everything's set up because you got to pay monthly to Luke Ross all right then you got to download the mod Luke Ross is mod all right then you got to prep uh do all that highlight all that place in your directory folder and then voila you're ready to go then like i showed you how you set up the settings part and everything and then you got to do all that if you don't want to get motion sickness like i did and stuff and now i could just have fun playing and all so we are going to be doing a full gameplay walkthrough of which would be different parts but a full gameplay walkthrough because this is a very long game and stuff at least about 40 minutes at least about 40 minutes and everything or actually no it's about 40 hours gameplay footage which is wow and i can see why too because there are just so many beautiful open worlds in there and stuff like that so much stuff you can do and learn you know and i highly recommend this and uh so if you're a big old harry potter fan so if you like this video, hit the like button, dislike the video, if you dislike the video, notify me on the bell and leave a comment down below. And I'll for and most of all, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for all of my future content. Until next time, I will see you in the next one. See ya.